from, as we emerge from the pandemic, it's, this just hasn't happened. Would you congratulate them? Well, there's two sides to that, Gloria, because if you go out, like I have been during recess and before that, speaking to employers in my constituency, they cannot get the people that they now need to recover. They, you know, they're finding it difficult to find employees. So it's all very well for the government to say, the, the, you know, unemployment's down, but we've got an employment gap. We've got important parts of the economy which can't be supported in service properly because the, people, the companies cannot get the employees. And that doesn't change the fact that people are facing a squeeze on their incomes, that actually wages in real terms have gone down against inflation. And, you know, that means that families this winter, we've got storms, heating is expensive, they're going to have to heat their homes through the snow this winter, and they're going to have to think about whether they can afford to do that and pay their family and feed their families. Now, that's not something that I ever envisaged that we would be talking about again in this country in the 21st century. So until the government addresses that, I will find it very difficult to give them any credit for the economy because they're getting it wrong. They're asleep at the wheel. The Chancellor would say that he is providing support, £200 discounts on bills, £150 council tax rebate for those with properties in bands A to D. They've frozen fuel duty for more than a decade. They would say they're doing their bit to help. Well, the average fuel bill we know is going to go up, you know, more than 600, almost 700 pounds. And what he's talking about and what the Chancellor is talking about in total is you know, about 350. That's not going to touch the sides of the problem for a lot of families. And it's a loan, Gloria. It's a loan. Most The discount um, on the, the council tax is one thing, but the rest of it's a loan that people are going to have to pay back. He's gambling with our money. He's gambling that the price of energy, that the price of gas specifically, is going to come down and that people will be able to afford to repay that. What if it goes up again? It's a gamble and that's not good enough. What people need in this is security. They need to know that they're going to be able to heat their homes, feed their children. Pensioners, they, they removed the triple lock and now pensioners are looking at massive inflation. The pensions won't keep up with that. How are they going to keep warm this winter? With the coats in the house? When did we become that country?